Well, I liked so much about it. First of all, I liked the fact that the graphics were very clear and I had a clear map to helping an organization become a learning organization, helping myself form a learning a plan to become a learner, seeing diagrams of how learning occurs, seeing the learning tree and understanding libraries are part of the learning tree, books are part of the learning tree. The, the use of, of visuals in the book was excellent. I also think the fact that he wrote it and reading a little bit about his, his biography and knowing that he was an immigrant, came to the United States and has built this wonderful uh, learning complex in many varieties and that he's even got the name CEO of learning. All of this in a young life, he looks, he's very young, he's, I could adopt him, you know, he's young enough to be my son. Um, so I think that's inspiring. I also think that the, one of the sentences, my favorite sentences in the book is that evaluation is a, is a, is a form of learning. Assessment is a form of learning. Wow, I never thought of it that way. In other words, if you're going to critique yourself, you're going to learn what you don't know, learn what you're doing wrong. You're learning assessment. People don't like assessments. People don't like a self-inventory themselves and say, what did I do wrong? What did I do right? We'd rather just barrel along and do the next thing. But we have to learn, and we have to learn from our mistakes. So I love that. It kind of opened my eyes to the value of assessment, evaluation. So there are a lot of little gems like that in the book, throughout the book. Another thing I liked about the book, and I did mention this earlier, was the fact that so many people were acknowledged as the source of his learning. And I found that very gratifying, to know that he's part of a community and he's built a community. And he's, he's lifted up a profession, chief learning officer. There's a program at University of Pennsylvania Wharton School that's for CLOs. And I was talking to a professor there because I'm going to serve on a, on a dissertation committee for a student. And he was saying, you know, chief learning officer used to be a big, a big title in corporate America. It's, it's becoming less so now. There's, there's less emphasis on that. He said, and it's really a shame. And I thought, it is. And I wonder if the whole the theory that everybody can learn all by themselves through their smartphones and you don't need schools anymore and you don't need communities anymore and you can do it all yourself, I think we're going to lose a lot. I think we really need... We need positions like Chief Learning Officer. We need books like Russell Sarter's book. 